Nice to meet you, Mr. Garrison. I suppose it's too late for apologies. Oh, you don't know how right you are. I'm all for sin. But it takes a real idiot to think you could fuck over this syndicate. A little money, a little sex. I didn't think anybody would notice. Thinking isn't what you did at all. Seven figures is no chump change. And I think four months of fucking around with the boss's wife is more than a little sex. You know, you're real chatty for a man with a gun. If you're here to end me, just get it over with, will ya? Well, you see, sometimes the client, they just want me to off someone quick and clean. Just a shoot and run. But these dudes, they want you to know. Go to the grave knowing that they found you out. Retribution. Suffering. Those sorts of things. I can get them their money back. But you can't exactly undo all that fucking around now, can you? The guy was divorcing the woman anyway. Didn't think he'd give a damn. Well, apparently he does. He'd have me off her too, but she's a little too high profile. You're easier. More separated from the organization. So you're just gonna kill me right here? Pfft, not too smart. Anybody could walk out of there at any moment. Oh, there's not going to be a gunshot. Whatever they paid you. I can pay you more. I can disappear. They'll never know what happened to me. You remember the blonde? Inside the restaurant? She was coming on to you. Sip some of your drink. But what you failed to notice while you were glazed over with lust was what she slipped into your drink afterwards. You've been poisoned, Mr. Garrison. Slow acting, but takes less than an hour. Looks like a heart attack. You're a little healthy for one, but it's not unheard of. <laughs> you know, I read all sorts of crazy shit in those medical journals. Plus, all that cocaine you snorted off the boss's woman's bare skin just really fucks you up now, doesn't it? Now. You can try going to the hospital, but I doubt you'll make it in time. Like you said, too late. All is well? We barely made it two miles. Crashed in glorious fashion. They took out the body bag and all. And the money? We collect in the morning. What about tonight? Celebration, perhaps? Oh. Now you want to get it out. You're always talking about a purely business relationship while leading me on. Touch, no taste. Maybe that's all that gets you hot. Well, I just want to keep you interested. Keep you sharp, on the edge. Besides, if I just gave it all away, maybe I'd never see you again. You asked around about me and Monte Carlo. 
been a long time since Monte Carlo. You know what I pulled off there? Now I was just there relaxing, taking it easy with some gambling and some ladies. Then I got wind of some major players with major money needing a loose end tied up. So not only did I trump a rival hitter by taking out his own mark, but I got his client to turn against him. They chased him down through half of Europe while I spent his payday. Is that right? Oh. That wasn't the first or last time that I stole another hitter's payday. There was this time in Madrid. Why don't you just stop talking? There's a time for talk and a time for action. vindictive enemies, Maynard. The cost of making the job fun. Some people just take it way too seriously. Don't you think? Oh, this has been fun. I'm glad to hear that. The guy who trained me was all about making things lively. I gotta put some excitement. Some randomness into it all. You know, sometimes I just off someone for free. Well, I've never been paid so much for anything. Never had a client so eager. Someone must hate you with a severe passion. You were right. This has been fun. Finger on the